So these are the Apple AirPods 2. And these are the OnePlus Buds, another pair of truly wireless earbuds and the long line of Apple competitors. But the question is, how do they compare? So for starters, the main difference is gonna be the price. On one side, we have a $159 price tag, while on the other, a merely 79 US. With nearly half of the price, you gotta wonder how that affects some of the build quality, design, features, and even performance. Now, in terms of design, the overall general build on both buds look really similar. It looks like the OnePlus buds borrow a lot of inspiration from the AirPods stem design with a hint of DNA from the bullets. Personally, I like the slicker look of the AirPods, but that's just a personal preference. I feel like the added design elements on the OnePlus buds add a bit of bulk to the earbuds themselves. And as for the charging case, I prefer the feel and look of the OnePlus buds case. The matte finish feels and looks way better in my opinion, and it manages to hide scratches a lot better. The AirPods charging case on the other hand has managed to attract a ton of scratches over time from just normal wear and tear. We can also see a minor size difference between the OnePlus case being a bit thicker with the added benefit of course of giving us extra battery life. Now one thing to note real quick is that usually in terms of accessories you should definitely see more support over on the AirPods side. As with the OnePlus Buds the one benefit is that there is a choice between two other color variations with the Nord colorway not being widely available. Now let's talk about some of the features that you should be seeing over on both sides. With the OnePlus Buds gaining the upper hand here by outshining the AirPods in battery life, 7 as opposed to 5, and up to 30 as opposed to 24 with their respective charging cases. Now it's no huge gap, but if battery life is something you closely consider, it's definitely good to know. Also, warp charge on the OnePlus Buds can get you through a full day with just a 10 minute charge. They are in fact missing the ability to charge wirelessly, which is an option with the AirPods, but it is going to cost you a bit more. Both buds do offer the in-ear auto detection and touch controls with the AirPods also gaining a bit of ground with its H1 chip and a new update announced at WWDC should allow for seamless switching but we have yet to see that. Some features that seem exclusive to owning a OnePlus device is the low latency or fanatic mode and of course the seamless pairing that we also see over with the Apple AirPods. And so finally, let's talk about performance. So both buds sound great, but I gotta hand it to Apple on this one. They've really done a hell of a job with their earbuds. Now, not to say that the OnePlus buds don't sound great, but you're definitely gonna get a better sounding experience over with the AirPods. Now, in terms of mic quality, although the OnePlus buds have the environmental noise cancellation in the three mics, they still far short when compared to the AirPods. It seems Apple has really set the bar high and is basically the gold standard when it comes to this. Overall, both buds are great. They're both gonna give you a much better experience when used with their respective ecosystems. So keep in mind that you will lose certain functionality when used on certain devices. The OnePlus buds certainly have something going for them, especially for the price. I really think the deciding factor here depends on what ecosystem you're on, but let me know what you guys think down below. Thanks a lot for watching guys, subscribe for more, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.